video number three of the day. Um, again, thank you guys for staying tuned. As you see, another Nike box. This is actually uh, one of my older pickups from probably July of last year, July or August. Um, another shoe that I was looking for that I couldn't wait to drop. I couldn't get it right off the bat. They sold out really quick. And uh, I was hanging around Nike store, you know, checking, and they happened to have a few sizes sprinkle around here and there, and I, I copped one. I'll give you all the stats on the on the box. And that's the uh, Air Max Speed Turf and the 11 and a half, which is uh, a little bit smaller than I'm used to, but it's still, it was still a good fit. And got it in the white, industrial orange, and black. So you know what that is. The damn Marinos. The only colorway that I wanted in the shoe. So for, the, for those who don't know me, um, I'm a huge, huge Miami Dolphin fan. Um, and this is going back from the 80s. Uh, when you had the Marks boys, you had Mark Clayton, Mark Duper. Dan Marino, Reggie Roby, Richmond Webb, all those guys. Like I follow, I, I've loved the Dolphins since I was about five or six years old, and I follow them to this day. Still my squad. Um, but Dan Marino to me is is the greatest quarterback ever. Um, set so many passing records. Um, you know, never won a Super Bowl, but you know what I'm saying. Still the greatest in my eyes. Um, did did a lot of great things for Miami, and uh, you know I never had a Never had a Marino jersey. Um, never copped any of his kits back in the day. Um, I had his trade. I, you know, I say I used to trade, uh, collect trading cards, and I had a few of his cards and stuff like that. But and I had some T-shirts, Dan Marino T-shirts, but I never had anything. And I and I, I wanted to do something. I wanted to buy something to commemorate that. So when they were going to release these, I got excited. I, I remember seeing them playing these. You know, what I'm saying dirty, always running in the ground. Like, like I, that's what I when I think of these. I remember him just scrambling. He couldn't move. He wasn't a real good scrambler, but you know, saying just it's bringing back a lot of good memories. And like I said, I had to cop these, and I'm glad I'm glad that I stuck around because I didn't think I was going to get them. Um, cop these off of, like I said, uh, Nike store. And uh, let me show y'all real quick. I'm sure you guys have seen a few different videos already. You know, you've got the waffle print on the outsole there, the white Nike check. Got that total total orange Air Max unit. That hard rubble rubber on the midsole along with the the file on as well. And you got the heel tab there. Then on the instep you can see the The check it looks like the uh, it's the texture like of a football real good touch there you got this semi tumble tumble leather on the upper you got the netting up there then you got the smooth leather on the toe total orange check there black laces oh my fault the strap like I said you can tell I rocked these already then you got the tongue with the football and the check going through it that teal color like a real real dope sneaker y'all real dope sneaker I mean I can't like I said I can't fry I couldn't couldn't wait to get these if you follow me on Instagram y'all know how excited I was to have these you know what I'm saying real good shoe clean shoe and uh, let me know what you guys think you know what I'm saying so I said showing y'all different stuff man just not the usual Nike basketball shoe, you know what I'm saying? A little different. Let me get this focus right. Like I said, y'all, it's been a been a minute since my since my camera got some love, so probably a little confused as to what's going on right now. But yeah, video number three of four. Got one more to show you guys. So thank you again, and until the next time, happy collecting and be easy. Peace.